Sirocco winds. Next we have Sirocco winds. Sirocco winds occur mainly here, over the Mediterranean Sea, where the Farrell and Hadley cells meet. Areas where prevailing winds meet are called convergence zones. At this particular convergence zone, you've got Farrell and Hadley cells pushing down along North Africa, creating high pressure systems and causing little rainfall. But remember, high pressure is always moving towards low pressure. The feral cells want to move the warm air to 60 degrees north, and the Hadley cells want to move the warm air to 0 degrees along the equator. Given that Sirocco winds are a weather event originating in North Africa and blowing across the Mediterranean Sea to southern Europe, we will only focus on the feral cells. Normally, this movement of air masses by the feral cells would be fine, but sometimes North Africa can have massive sandstorms that can reach 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles in height filling the sky with hot, dry air full of sand and dust. This mass of sand and dust can get carried by feral cells over the Mediterranean Sea and turn into visibility-reducing Sirocco winds. These Sirocco winds often continue to carry the debris towards Europe and cover parts of southern Italy and Greece in a thick, dusty haze. For our pilot, flying over southern Europe and the Mediterranean Sea during such conditions can cause major restrictions to visibility and trigger lots of turbulence, since the Sirocco winds can easily reach speeds of over 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour. Looking at a dust forecast map taken from the Barcelona Dust Forecast Center, we can see how dust from North Africa moving towards Europe can cause significant dust coverage for countries like Greece. This is the equator line, these are the feral cells, and these are the Hadley cells. Also, you may be asking why the Sirocco winds only mention Europe, when it clearly affects Africa also. That is because this is a Sirocco wind, and this is a Haboob wind. Same phenomenon, only a different name. Now, Sirocco winds are much more than just dust and sand in the wind. This is because sandy Sirocco winds moving over the Mediterranean can absorb moisture and cause heavy fog and rain. Sometimes with a distinct blood red hue, hence the ominous term blood rain given to Sirocco winds that mix reddish-orange sand and dust with moisture and condensation from the Mediterranean. If you want to learn more about blood rain, I've left a link from the infographic show in the description that covers everything. And that's Sirocco winds.